Hey drummers, it's Rob Lippin here from drumstheword.com. Welcome to this free video drum lesson where today I'm going to show you all the best parts, the most important parts from the song. Jamming by Bob Marley, drummed by the unimitable Carlton Barry, of course. I've got three pages of notation for you to download from my website for free. Loads of examples in this lesson coming up. So I have these uh, three pages printed out in front of you as we go through this together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you to understand. Again, the link to this free PDF is uh, beneath this video. And like I said, I've got one, two, I've got about 10 uh, different sections. Basically the first half of the song showing you all the different variations that Carlton plays with the cross stick and the hi-hats. Uh, and of course those really cool important drum fills as well. This song was suggested over on my Facebook page. So if you want to make your own song suggestions, then please go over there to do so. You'll see a link, uh, um, a, a, a photo on the page where other people have typed in their song suggestions. Others get to vote on them and the most popular ones got get chosen for future lessons, just like this one was today. So what we've got at the top of the chart, um, I've written here, all eighth notes are swung and many percussion effects can be heard throughout the song. The snare on the snare drum has also been turned off. So. Um, Basically, the eighth note's being swung. We're going to count this as one and two and three and four and one and two, pretty obvious. And then also the percussion effect. Just want to talk about that from the beginning, where we get like this cool um, bottle effect being played. I think it's it sounds like it's being played on an empty glass bottle. Um, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Basically, I've focused on what the drum kit is playing. So these extra percussion effects um, haven't been included in this lesson, but of course the hi hat, cross stick, snare drum, bass drum parts have been included. And then finally also turn the snare drum off on your snare drum to create that sort of authentic timbali kind of reggae high pitch sounding snare drum effect because um, that'll make it sound more authentic. So um, we start off with the first uh, uh, eight bars of the song. So I, I want to show you the, the full intro really. Uh, starts at zero seconds obviously the beginning of the song and we come in with this um, triplet snare drum drum fill, starting on the and a beat two. So remember we're counting one and two and three and four. It's hard to sort of say, Carlton is it's one of those um, field drummers where it's very hard to tell or to count or precisely notate, I think, exactly what he's playing. It's somewhere in between 16th note triplets and uh, 32nd note triplets or 32nd notes. It, it, it's kind of a, a feel thing. Um, but really what I try to do is just roll into beat three with a set of 16th note triplets. One and two and three, four, one and two and three. I'm starting with my right hand and coming down, finishing with my left hand on beat three. One and two and three. So I'm sort of swinging, starting the triplets on the swung eighth note of the and of two. One and two and three. And as I speed it up, it probably flattens out a little bit because the tempo's one, two, three, four, one and two, one and two, three, one and two, three. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where I'm feeling now. I'm sort of just trying to aim for beat three and get it to roll in nicely. So we get those first three notes, starting with the right hand and coming down on beat three with the left hand with the first set of then eighth note triplets. So then we go to eighth note triplets, three triplet four. So we get three triplet four, starting with your left hand, ending with your right hand. So in all, and these notes just flow together, one and two and three triplet four, one and two and three triplet four, and one and two and three triplet four, one and two, one and two, one and two. So then we into our first groove, and Colton, uh, lucky I was able to find a isolated drum track for this song, because the hi-hat is really low in the mix. Carlton's got a great feel for the hi-hat. Really nice and tight and crisp, um, and very, very lightly played, um, using the bell of the hi-hat as well. All kinds of subtleties going on, which, which are just, um, uh, you know, sort of his style. Um, but you can hear that, uh, well, certainly on the, uh, the isolated drum track, that he doesn't play the hi-hat on beat one of the first bars. So we get this bass drum on all four beats throughout the song, apart from when the break comes up halfway through. One, two, and most of the time, Carlton's just playing quarter notes on the hi-hat with the bass drum. But for the first bar, we get one, two, and then we get these cross stick notes on, in this first example, three and the and to beat four. One, two, three, four, and one. One, two, three, four, and. As we go through the session, you're gonna see that he improvises a hell of a lot with this. 
Sometimes also it's quite hard to hear if he's playing a swung eighth note with the cross stick on the and. So sometimes he could have been playing one, two, three, four, and one, and one. But because the cross stick is much louder than the hi-hats uh, on the recording, it's very hard to tell exactly what he's playing. Sometimes it's more obvious and I've included those. Sometimes it's a bit more subtle. So that's the last time I mentioned that, but just be aware that there could be some more shuffle notes going on where I haven't included um, them with the cross stick on the and of something. So if we take a look at the, the next bar, we get our next cross stick variation. One and two, three, four. Next bar, one, two, three and four. So we get this shuffled here on, on three and four. One, two, three and four and. And then the last bar of that line, one and two, three, four. So we're getting these kind of repeating ideas there for the first four bars, very similar to each other, but the hi-hat's slightly different in bar three. So the first line sounds like this. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four and one and two, three, four. One, two, three and four and one and two, three, four. You get kind of like this, this melody going on with the drum, fill, with the drum beats. Uh, we go to the second line, <clears throat> you can see it sort of repeats this melody going into the next two bars. Let me do two bars at a time. One, two, three, and four, and, and then one, two, three, and four. The next bar, one, two, three, and four, and then we get the set of triplet drum fills. One, leading into beat one. Again, same ideas from starting from the end of two from the beginning of the song. We get starting on the and of four, rolling into beat one of the next bar. Notice the bass drum doesn't stop. So we get one, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. So in context, those last two bars, one, two, three, and four. 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 Try not to hit your own sticks, because um, that makes you look stupid. Okay, so now let me play for you both lines uh, up to speed without me talking over the top so you can hear just the drums. Here's the first eight bars. So literally carrying on to the next eight bars, and I've got this for the first uh, five or six examples or so. So this occurs at 17 seconds. And um, this is just another uh, eight bars uh, uh, showing you examples of how Carlton kind of varies up the cross. So can, and through these examples, you're gonna hear some classic reggae ideas, classic reggae drum beat type ideas. For example, the first, uh, first two bars, it's usually a two bar phrase that, that Carlton's playing in. So we get the first two bars, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. That's a classic idea that we get the three, four, resolving it, the extra cross stick on beat four. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. Next two bars, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. So same idea except about the four resolving at the end of that first line. The next line, very sparse for the first bar, so he plays some extra busy stuff, then he leaves loads of space, creating kind of like pull and tension effects. One, two, three, four, simply that. Then one, two, three, and four, and one. And that, in this example, I could hear the extra shuffle note going on, so I've included it with the and of four. One, two, three, and four, and one. Then the last two bars, another example of the first two bars, really. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So in context, those eight bars, listen up for those two bar ideas, those little two bar melodies being repeated. Here we go. So moving on, 32 seconds. Uh, again, I'm, I'm gonna treat these as little two bar patterns. So the first two bars, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Then we get one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. That's kind of cool where he plays on the and of two and the and of four there for the second bar. 
Then the next time we get our first example of these double cross stick ideas. One, two, three, and four, and. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. So it repeats it in the second bar, but leads in with a one, two, and three. So it's those two bars together. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and. Oh, one, two, and three, and four, and. Then we get the last two bars, one, two, three, four. And notice how after playing those busier two bars previously, we then get loads of space. Very musical choice that. Not overplaying every single line. So we get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Snare and crash cymbal on beat three of that second bar. So let's hear those eight bars up to speed. So on we go, the next eight bars, 48 seconds, uh, we get our first use of the tom uh, in, in, inside the drum beats. One, two, three, and four, and. You could use either high tom or medium tom, I'm gonna use this tom. Uh, and uh, to create that sort of, uh, sort of reggae sort of feel, try to go for the rim uh, of, of the tom a little bit so you, you get more of a high pitch sound. Something like that. Um, then we get the second bar, one, two, three, and four, and. Then next two bars, one, two, three, and four. And it shuffles with that cross stick, I believe. Then one, two, three, and four, and. That pattern comes up a lot in this song. Then the next line, one, two, and three, and four. So two and three rather than three and four. He mixes that up occasionally. Most of the time it's three and four. But sometimes in that example, one, two, and three, and four. Second bar. One, two, three, and four, and. And then we get the last two bars where we almost get um, uh, my favorite reggae drum lick. It comes up later in the song, another example coming up uh, at 1 minute 19, but it's very close. This two bar phrase here. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, and. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, four, and. It's kind of like a clave kind of idea. In the second bar, we get this one, two, and three, four, and. And later on, it becomes one, and two, and three, four, which is just classic reggae to me. Um, so let's hear those eight bars. Here we go. Okay, next eight bars, 103, we start to get some really cool triplet ideas going on with the hi-hat. First two bars though, one, two, three, and four, and one. Then one, two, three, and four, and old faithful. Bar three is the same as bar two, yep. And then bar four is this really cool idea where um, we're playing partial parts of the triplet. So nothing's played on beat one with the hi-hat. The bass drum's still playing all four beats. We get one triplet, two. One triplet, two. So remember we're counting one and two and three. When we get to the triplets, we count one and two and three and four and one triplet, two and three triplet, four and, for example, in this example, one triplet, two and three triplet, four and. So we're starting the triplet notes of the hi-hat on the middle note of the triplet on beat one and beat three, creating that kind of really cool effect where the bass drum leads it. One triplet, two, and three triplet, four, and. Let's create a two bar phrase so we get that in context with the shuffle feel. One, two, three, and four, and one triplet, two, and three triplet, four, and one. It's a lot of fun to play that. Next line, very similar idea. One, two, three, and four, and, with the second bar being one triplet, two, just cross the condition on two, then and, and then three triplet, four, and. So lots of space being left for the bass drum on its own. One triplet, two, and three triplet, four, and one. So there's two bars. One, two, three, and four, and one triplet, two, and three triplet, four, and one. Then the last two bars. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, those eight bars.
So at 1 minute 90, our last example of, of the next eight bars, so this is literally taking us up to pretty much halfway through the song. Um, well, I include this because we get that classic reggae um, cross-stick pattern I was talking about earlier on. So the first two bars, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Then the next two bars involve this idea. One, two, three, and four. One, and two, and three, four. So really we got one, two, and three, four being the most important part, but over the top of it, Carton's playing some shuffle hi-hat notes. One, and two, and three, four. So we get one, two, three, and four. One, and two, and three, four. Next line, one, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. So cross six there in between on the and of one and two. Then the last two bars are exactly the same as the, the line above it with the cross stick pattern, except for the uh, first bar we get one, two, three, four. Then we get one, and two, and three, four again. One, two, three, four. Lovely stuff. Okay, those eight bars up to speed. So onto page three and one minute 41, we get this, this, this drum solo break, I guess this drum fill break. Um, and it's, it stops uh, on beat one with the hi-hat com com coming from the previous drum beat. One, two, three, four. So we get those triplet ideas again, starting on the and of beat three, the swung and of beat three. Just four notes ending on beat four with the left hand. Then the second bar we get one and two, and it's, the hi-hat opens and closes on the swung note of the and. One and two and three, four. One and two and three. The triplets there are starting on the and of two. One and two and three and four and one. The next bar there we get snare, crash and bass drum. One, two, three, four triplets. And four triplets, again that idea going into the end of the bar, end of the line, but the last bar continues those tri um, triplet ideas. One triplet, two, and it's just all single strokes. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. That bit's quite tricky because you start on beat two with the left hand, just how, how the hands end up coming out. Then you go up to this tom with your right hand. Then you have to start that tom before the plate note for note with your left hand. And you end with the left hand. Now I'm not sure the sticking that Carlton used, pretty sure that um, he might have used some doubles in here. Uh, I, um, I just don't know. So this is how I would play it with single strokes and that just happens to be how you come out. So slowly, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four triplet one triplet two triplet three triplet four one and let's hear that up to speed So at 1 minute 49, we've got a really cool example. Five bars with lots of different ideas going on. First two bars, pretty standard. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, three, four. Then we get this drag into beat one. One, one into an accent. Just two notes. Drag into beat one. One, 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 two, three, and four, and. Then a bar including some more triplet ideas. One triplet, two, and. One triplet, two and three and four. Then it ends with four and one. A ghost note followed by an accent on beat one. One, two, three, four and. So a lot of stuff going on there. Let me play those five bars for you slowly. One, two, three, four and one and two, three, four. One, two, three and four and one triplet, two and three and four and one, two, three, four. And, and I accidentally missed the snare drum there. Let me now play for that, uh, play that for you properly, up to speed.
So at two or five, we got our last example of a really cool little um, drum lick that Carlton throws in. Uh, the first bar is one, two, three, and four, and. And then we get a whole bar of this triplet idea. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four, and. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four, and. It re resolves there, three triplet, four, and. The right hand plays beat four with the hi-hat. So we get one, two, three, and four, and one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four, and. Let's hear that a couple of times. And then finally, I've included how the song ends at three minute 18. So we get the first uh, bar, one, two, three, and four, and. Then we get this sort of outro drum fill. One and two, one and two, and. So the first time we get a bass drum falling on the and, one ghost, so it's a ghost snare drum, accent with the bass drum, and. One and two, and, and he goes three and four. Three and four snare and crash, and then another snare and crash on beat one, one. So we get one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, two, three, four, one. And it ends with that um, triplet idea, starting on the end of beat four, rolling into a bass drum. And one, and one, two, and it ends there with beat two with a snare and crash. So slowly, one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, two, three, four, one, two. And that's how the song ends. So let's hear those bars. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff going on there with Carlton. A lot of it is a touch and feel thing. Um, very, very hard to, uh, to replicate. Um, his, his touch and feel, uh, but I did my best. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, feel free to email me, uh, robertjumpsterword.com. Not sure if I've already mentioned that. Also, don't forget to download the free pages of PDF that came with this lesson. The link is beneath this video. Uh, and then while you're over at my website, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I currently offer for £97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And that's over 600 full video song lessons now where I teach you a song from start to finish. And like this lesson, you get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart. Every single bar is included. And like I said, I've got over 600 famous and popular songs, including at least one other Bob Marley song uh, and some free Bob Marley stuff, mini lessons. And I'm sure I'll be adding more Carlton stuff in the future. As a thank you for signing up, I'll give you access to hundreds more little videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I'll give you three ebooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, Toodle pip and happy drumming to you.